Well, thank you, Chimbling. I have with me Mr. Oluwale Osaze Uzi, who is the Director of Voter Education at INEC. You're welcome to Sunrise Daily. Thank you. Good morning. Well, you heard Mr. Ikeji there very quickly. Yes, uh, you heard um, what he's saying about, uh, you know, INEC's failure to conduct elections in the Anambra Central Senatorial di District. Correct. So very upfrontly, I'll just ask you, why hasn't INEC conducted elections there? Well, because there's an existing and subsisting court judgment um, requiring us to include the PDP in the conduct of that election. We're prepared to conduct the election. We're given notice of the election. We had mobilized and gone to the field. But uh, in between when uh, the, we announced the date for the elections, along with all other elections, especially in River State and other states, um, the PDP insisted that they will have to field a candidate. Because according to them, they had a right to field a candidate even though their previous candidate had been disqualified from the contest. We thought, no, this is wrong. Our understanding of the case, Labour Party had taken us to court earlier on, uh, referred to by Mr. Cage, that, look, this is not a by-election. This is not a fresh election. It's a rerun election. And the time for nomination is closed. So we insisted that, no, PDP has no candidate. We also insisted that the candidate that we had on our list for the APC was uh, Senator Ngige. And, um, well, apparently quite a number of people were dissatisfied with that, including the APC and uh, the former uh, PDP candidates, as well as the PDP itself, because they wanted to field another candidate. We said no. So they succeeded in the lower court, and the lower court did say, the federal high court did say that, look, do not conduct this election without the PDP. But we felt this is wrong. This is contrary to what superior courts have said. We, uh, an irresponsible organization will probably go ahead and say, I will ignore you. But I don't think it's right for a litigant to pick and choose which orders to obey. The proper thing to do is to appeal against it if you're not satisfied. And in it took the stand that, look, this is not right. We will appeal against this. And that appeal is pending in the Court of Appeal. If we're to follow the uh, sayings of those who say we should go ahead, then we'll completely disregard an existing Court of Appeal, uh, sorry, High Court judgment saying, don't do it. There is no specific judgment in clear terms now, in this particular case, saying that INEC should disregard the PDP. But it's a principle of law established in other cases that said once a party's candidate has been, has been uh, removed from the ballot, that party cannot substitute that candidate and bring another candidate because the time for nomination had closed. The Supreme Court has pronounced on that. But it did not pronounce specifically in Anambra Central 2015 elections. The only pronouncement we have on that is that of the PDP, which is on appeal, which in a, and other parties, interested parties, have appealed against. Well, Mr. Ikeji says that you're just looking for an excuse. Uh, there is also a principle that says that, you know, nothing, no court order should stop you from conducting general elections. I think it's a misreading and misunderstanding of what the uh, uh, Electoral Act says. And some people hold the view that's unconstitutional. The Electoral Act says that uh, in the case of a dissatisfied aspirant who has challenged the outcome of an intra-party crisis, then no court order should uh, stop or prevent the conduct of, uh, of, 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 of elections. But it's, it's a narrow perspective. It's narrow to the fact that it has to be an aspirant. The, 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 the section 87 quoted says so. How is this different from the situation we had in Ondo? Well, Ondo, there were conflicting court orders. We had insisted on putting the name of uh, Eitayo Jagedez A.N. But Jimmy Ibrahim went and got an other order saying, no, it is not uh, Eitayo Jagedez. It is uh, he himself, Jimmy Ibrahim. He got a special court order. And the court ordered us that we'll be in contempt if we don't obey that order. And he went back and still got, uh, that's uh, Jagedez himself also got another order. So they're conflicting uh, court orders until that was uh, resolved by the Court of Appeal in the specific case. All these were in one case. All of that did not affect your going to going ahead with the elections as scheduled. No, it did not affect it because what a specific order saying put Mr. A. In this particular case, the PDP has said put Mr. A, but we're not satisfied with that. There is an appeal. APCA has appealed. There are at least four or five appeals. There's even an appeal in the Supreme Court saying that APCA does not have uh, a, 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 an interest, sufficient interest in the matter. We cannot discuss the merits or demerits of the case because the cases are in court. But these are the factual situations. There are at least four or five cases pending in various courts regarding the same uh, matter. And in like I said, look, this doesn't help our democracy. This does not help us. So let us see if we can explore alternate dispute resolution mechanisms. 
So that if everybody can be satisfied about that, but unfortunately that doesn't seem to have been taken up. It's a, it's a voluntary mechanism because everybody has to submit to it, but unfortunately we haven't all been able to sit down on the table to resolve all the issues. Yes. So litigation seems to be the answer for now. All very odd because, you know, some people who say that it, it would seem that, you know, this is very clear. If both part, if a, you know, quite a number of parties are not happy, you say the PDP is not happy, the APC is not pa happy because of the candidates that they are not able to put forward for the elections. And they would like to put up, put forward different candidates. But this is a, a rerun of the other elections. Correct. Now, we know that that's going to be impossible according to the law. So what precisely is INA going to court to challenge? Good. I cannot sit down in a studio and say the judgment was wrong. If I am not satisfied with it, I have to obey it, or if I'm not satisfied, I will have to appeal. That is the rule of law. That is the course of action to take. And that is why INEC has taken that. Look, we have already established the principle right from the Supreme Court that in Labour Party against INEC that this is not a by-election. You are not allowed to substitute people at this stage. That's an established principle of law as far well as, as, well as we understand it. But for whatever reasons, the judge who, uh, that was drawn to her attention but she refused to buy that argument. We think you're wrong legally, so we have appealed against it. The same judge, I understand, was the same judge who in the APC case said, no, you cannot substitute. But as a standing principle, if it's a standing principle and she's already said that, I mean, isn't it clear enough for, for all to see? Why wouldn't you go ahead with the elections and then wait for it to be challenged? Well, we can, we can in one sense, go ahead with election and include the PDP. But that would be going against what you said was established principles of law. Because there is a specific judgment saying that we must include the PDP in this election. That would be going against that, 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 that to us, although there's an established principle, the court has said it's established generally, but in this particular case, I will not follow that principle for whatever reasons. We don't think that's right. So we're now challenging that. Mm. So... You, what you're saying is that if a candidate or if a party doesn't have a clear-cut candidate, you cannot include the party in an, in an election. Is that what you're saying? No, what we're saying is this. We have done an election. We had a list of candidates. Let's say we have seven candidates. Mm -hmm. And one of them has been excluded by court. And that party is saying, yes, my candidate was included, but I still want to participate. I still insist on participating. So, no, you cannot. I'm sorry. But it's okay if you feel that way. Administratively, you've taken your own decision and you're making your preparations. I have to stop you. And that's exactly what the PDP did. They stopped us and said, you must accept the new candidates. As I said, I don't think that is correct. We, as a commission, the commission doesn't think it's correct. I said, no, rather than obey that order and go ahead and, and conduct the election with this candidate, we think we should appeal it. That's because the original candidate defected to another party. No, not because of that, because the original candidate was disqualified. She was disqualified. After her disqualification, she defected to another party and contested the purported primary. Even that primary, we did not recognize it because APC, you cannot conduct another primary because the time for nomination has closed. So he said, yes, but our candidate is now an honorable minister of the Federal Republic. Said, Sorry. If after he wins the, if he wins the election and he decides, I want to leave that seat, I'm more interested in being a minister, he could resign and then a by-election will now have to, he can choose not to accept the, 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 the seat if he, uh, if he wins the election. If he doesn't win the election, end of matter.